This is Brooke Drum from PrinterBot and we're assembling the PrinterBot LC. This is laser cut. So, taking a couple of shortcuts, we've already installed the bearings on the top. And I've already got this piece together, but it's going to go together just like this side. So, I'll show you how that works. So, all these arrows are going to face forward. And uh, we actually, okay, there we go. These are going to face forward. This is a 108, 107. They fit together and they're going to go in here, right? We're not going to assemble it to the base yet. I'm just making sure my orientation is correct. So let's put a square nut in here. When you're going through two panels, this is a 106 on the 107. When you're going through two panels, you don't need a washer, so we don't need one there. Three quarter inch screw when you're going through two panels. These are 632's. I'm just going to do all this loosely. We can tighten all this up later. Now we've got two identical they both go together the same way. And they're going to mount in here, but if I put them in the base and screw them down, I won't be able to get the sides on, so it's actually going to go on the sides first. All right, like that. Let's do one at a time. Again, if you're going through a hole, no washer needed. But sometimes I need a little help from a pair of pliers. But if you're going through a square, a uh, rectangle, I mean, you're going to need a washer because that washer, this is a half inch screw, that washer is going to span that dark wood and grab onto the sides. Okay. Now this guy is actually going to hold the electronics. So we're going to get this guy in here. Uh, even though there's holes on this side for it, it actually goes in on one side. Now this is the front. So I'm behind it. It's on the right. If I was facing it, facing front it would be on the left. This is a hole, so I don't need a washer. There you go, that will be ready for me. Again the arrow faces front. I like to pre-fit here to make sure I got the bar on the right side. inch, no washer. Keep it here. We do need a washer. Half inch screw. You gotta put the front and the back panel on, and then you'll be ready to put the top on. Okay? Let's see, let's go like this. It's gonna go like that, but first we wanna put the back on. Now, if you've tightened these down, sometimes they don't line up great. screwed up. Look what I did. I've got the arrow here, arrow there. 
Instead of doing another take here, I'll just let you see how we fix that. It won't even go together if you don't do it right. There we go. Now we got the arrows facing forward. Forward, forward. Alright. Now, arrows facing forward. It's going to go like that. And the back is going to go on like that. There we go. Okay, so one mistake so far. Easy to fix. So let me put one in here to hold this side together. This one I need a washer. Some of these are hard to reach, so using a pair of pliers is quite helpful. Washer, half inch screw. Alright, so that's going to hold together. I want to show how the this goes on. So, how do I know what's front? That arrow. We've got our arrows all facing front. Arrow, arrow. I know this is the back. So now I can put on the sides. Oops. All right. So now, what I'm going to do before I go through and put all these screws on, I want to show that this little guy is a spacer. See how he has two little holes that match those two little holes? Up or down is fine. It's going to be it's going to be a screw that comes down and that's going to be our Z-stop. We're going to hide it inside there. So since it goes inside, this all goes together on an end stop. Now that hole is off sides, off to the side. So the best way, that, the way that I like to do it is, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and leave the fat part on the outside like that. I'm going to thread it through the wood first, push it down, make sure the switch, the open is on the outside. This can be a little bit of a tight fit on this. Push that down. with it a little bit. It's like I oriented it fine. I think I got it twisted. <laughs> sure did.
Okay, finally.